An update now on that story we first told you last night at 6. Charges have now been laid against an American man shot by police after speeding through a border crossing in the Kootenays. The incident began just before 4 yesterday afternoon at the Reichert's border crossing south of Creston when a truck was pulled over for an inspection and the driver fled. Police were notified and a roadlock and spike belt were eventually set up on Highway 3B in Fruitvale. At 5 o'clock, that vehicle hit the belt and flipped into the ditch. But the dramatic story doesn't end there. Reporter John Daly now with what happened next. The speeding truck was, according to American reports, packed with guns and ammunition and driven by a fleeing felon. RCMP finally stopped it with a spike belt, but the suspect opened up on them with a 9mm Glock handgun. Police returned fire. Well, yesterday I was in my uh, room, not doing much, and I uh, heard uh, some gunshots that were fired. We heard a female police officer screaming for a person to get down on the ground. Before the takedown at 5 p.m. Saturday, the suspect had traveled more than 130 kilometers inside Canada after his run through the border. I had docked and ran behind a pile of tires, and there were several other people taking cover there as well. It was scary, like really anxious, like panic, like a big adrenaline rush. The suspect is a Marin County fugitive with a $1 million warrant on him for assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer in Northern California. His name is Michael Angelo Lina, 40, of South San Francisco. Today, RCMP are still trying to sift just how many shots were fired. Lena was hit twice, once in the leg, once in the abdomen. Neither wound is serious. He has been charged with uh, two charges here in Canada, uh, possession of a weapon uh, dangerous to the public, as well as attempted murder of a police officer. Uh, he's, he's made an appearance before a justice of the peace this afternoon, and he will be making another appearance uh, uh, in court when he's able to be uh, released from hospital. Lena's truck has been bagged and tagged as evidence, which could be good news for him. A long trial here could delay a return to the States for the ex-con, who might face a real-life sentence in America with the three strikes felony rule. Time there will be an internal police investigation into the Mounties' actions in this incident.